Good morning, my beautiful goddess. And thank you for being the beautiful person that you are. I'm going to work on the truck today, honey. I'm finished getting it done for the inspection. I love you. Okay. I just got done working on it, my love. Okay. I have to do the rock pile tomorrow, then it's ready for inspection. How did your work do last night? I didn't work last night. Why not? You told me you were late for work. Was you too late? I said I was late. Didn't say it was for work. I'm stressed out because I'm late. Oh. Um. I think I'm needing an update here. Hey. Hello. Hello. Okay, so. Give me this update. I'm late, that's the update. <clears throat> well, I understand that. But who was it? What? Who was it? What kind of question is that? Well, because the business that you're in, honey. This is your fault, you know that, right? How is it my fault? You consistently stress me out with your constant accusations and neediness that I forgot to take my pill. You forgot to take your pill. So who? I don't care. Well, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're only supposed to be having sex with Maggie Joe's fiance, and he was only supposed to be doing you in the rear. And that was it. It wasn't supposed to be anybody else. So you're missing out on telling me something here. No, I haven't. Well, yeah, you have. Unless you're talking about Rod. Is that who you're talking about? It could be Rod or it could be John Michael Jr. Don't know which. So, so you already did, you did already fuck Rod, and I didn't know about that. <laughs> you knew about I... No, you didn't tell me when. So when did that happen? So... When did that happen? It happened. When did that happen? In the past. Oh, um, no kidding. So if you are pregnant, what are you going to do? I don't know. Jamie, if you keep the baby, it'll be the end of us. I'm freaking out. Um, I'm telling you, what? if you're pregnant with... I'm telling you that if you're pregnant with anybody else's baby, it'll be the end of us.
I'm sorry, I need to rephrase that. If you, uh, honey, calm down, calm down. I'm sorry, I need to rephrase that. If you're pregnant with anybody else's baby and you keep it, then it'll be the end of us. Because the... Honey, don't hang up, okay? Calm down. I'm sorry, I'm upset too. Don't hang up, okay? Did you tell Will? No. No. Okay. Is he there? Well, obviously he's there right now. You got you to have him get a pregnancy test. You got to tell Will. He's really, he's, a, he's our best friend. He's the one that you need to tell right now. Um, uh, and honey, do not tell Maggie Joe yet. You hear me? Honey, do not tell Maggie Jo yet. Or Don Michael yet. Tell Will you need to keep this between me, you and him for right now. So you find out. Yellow. What's up? Hello? Hello? I need to get a what? <laughs> Jamie, what the fuck? To tell him he needs to keep to himself right now. Jamie, what happened? You're on birth control. Of course. Of course, you're going to blame Lauren. To tell him that he needs to keep it to himself right now, okay? Tell him, just, tell him I know about it. Just got to keep it between us three for right now. Don't say anything to Maggie Joe or Don Michael yet. Jamie, now is not the time for that. Stop that. What do you, so you want me, uh, fine, I'll go get you a test. This is just getting ridiculous. What, did like Lauren and Millie some coom or something? What the fuck is going on? Whatever. All right, I'll be back later. Did you, did you tell him to keep it to himself? I need to get well, get him back there and tell him. I think he's gone. Well, I guess if, if he winds up telling Maggie Joe, then. And people are going to be upset. Okay. Honey, you got to stop this business. Well, it's going to be up to you. You just know how I feel. How do you feel? If you keep the baby, then you and I are going to be done because you're going to, you're going to have to deal with Rod. I, I don't... It's not the way all this is supposed to happen, Jamie. This goddamn business you're in, you, you should have known. No, you cannot blame me for this. Yes, I you didn't. Uh, no, you it's cannot. I tried to keep you away from the internet.
I certainly, certainly didn't sign a contract with, with him. You made me forget to take my pill with all your bullshit. You cannot blame me. Yes, I can. No, you can't. If you were here and you get pregnant, then you could blame me. But if Rod just happened, what the hell's today? I blame you for stressing I, me up to the point to where I forgot. Today's what, the 17th? When was Rod there? Beginning of the month? Doesn't matter. So was he there before? January, because you told me he was going, coming after Jan after January, beginning of January. Well, it what matters because you got to think because you got to think about the timing. I don't want you doing this business anyway. You already know that. Well, too bad. See? If someone didn't stress me out all the time, I wouldn't have forgot to take my birth control. Honey, that is not somebody and something that you can blame on me. Yes, it is. I tried to keep you away from the internet. I didn't tell you to do any contract with him or to have sex with any other guy. I, I was completely that against about it. How you treat me like shit. I was completely against you having any sex again with anyone else, with any other guy. I was completely against you having sex with any other guy, and you know that. It's my fault because of what I did. Jamie, I was trying to keep you away from doing that. That's what you say when to abuse me. It it doesn't matter right now who's it's to blame. Well, it no, you don't blame. Just stop it with the blaming. Right now, let's just find out what the test says. This is. So what happened to John Michael only supposed to be doing it in your rear? Well, he got all worked up and decided not to, I guess. But it wasn't just the rear. I had in my mouth a few times. Yeah, okay, and you have to tell me this because why? You say I hide things. <laughs> He 
He's only boomed in my mouth twice. My pussy once and my ass a bunch. Hello? I'm here. I don't want you doing this business, Jamie. You know how I feel. It's my career. It's your career, but your career is fucking up our future. You don't like it, you can walk. Don't be a smart ass. Your career is fucking up our future. No. Yeah. You going to pay my debt off waiting around for Ron to call you back? I know what you're saying, Jamie. Okay? I know what you're saying. I know why you why you need to do it right now. I never told you to do the fucking rod thing. Congratulations. Would you be the baby's stepdad? Hello? You're jumping the gun. What? You're jumping the gun. You don't know if you're pregnant or not. Cross our fingers that you know. John Michael Jr. is pro-life. If it's his, he will want it to live. Hello? I'm here, I'm here, I can hear you. Carter told me I had a glow about me yesterday. Is that bad? I don't know. You have a glow about you. Well, maybe you're pregnant. Somebody else's baby. How do you feel about that? Well, I wouldn't be pregnant if you didn't stress me out all the time. No. Don't blame me. They just I leave the blame know. away. Leave the blame away from anybody right now. Too late. No, well, it's too late. I didn't, Jamie. I didn't tell you to do this business.
This is not quite what I wanted to hear today. What did you want to hear? I wanted to hear you have had a good day. I wanted to hear our normal, well, our, our good conversation. Well, I haven't. I'm stressed right out. What did you do last night? Cried. Well, when you hung up, and you, when you told me you were late and you hung up, I thought you meant you were late for work. Certainly didn't think it was this. Right, well, I wasn't, but you weren't listening to me anyway, so I cried. Um, I, I was listening. I heard you late. I certainly weren't expecting to hear the, the, the for you to mean that you were late for your period. That's, that's why I didn't call you back. I thought you were running late. You said running late. I meant you were running late for work. I didn't say running late. You said you were late. You were late. Normally, when you say you're late, it means you're, you're late for work. I didn't expect for you to mean that you were late for your period. Right, so why did you just say I said running late? It doesn't matter. That's what I thought you meant, it was running late. I meant you were running late for work. That's what I thought you meant. Right, but that isn't what was said. But, Jamie, come on. It's not a time to try to be technical with words. MJ will never speak to me again if it's John Michael Jr. That's why I try to get you to, to tell Will not to say anything, to keep it between us. What do you think should happen? Well, I don't think you should keep the baby. Well, I don't like... Well, because it wasn't conceived out of love. What? It was not conceived out of love. Neither were you. Yeah, I was. Are you lying to yourself? No, I'm not lying to myself. Why would you say that? When did your dad leave? When I was... Um, when I was two.
and you think you were conceived out of love. Yeah, every one of us kids was conceived out of love. But you were born and he left. I was born, two years later, he left. There's nothing I can do about that. They married each other, they, they were in love with each other. They stayed married for 10 years. Nothing right, I can so do about it. you still think it was out of love? Yeah. Why? Because they were, they were together for 10 years. So what? When they, had, when they had me, they still loved each other. How do you know? Probably because that's what my mother told me. Right. <laughs> All right. Come on, Jamie. You're asking these weird questions again. So what does being born out of love have to do with it? Oh, um, do you want to be pregnant with somebody's baby that you don't love? That isn't an answer. It's an answer. Why you weren't trying to. Born out of love? You weren't trying to have a baby. People can be born out of love, out of love, or other than being in love. Answer it happens the all the time. Please. What was your question? The question is why can't people be born with not being in love? They can be. Happens all the time. Then why was that your defense for me not keeping it? Jamie, you don't even know whose it is. If it's just Rod guys, you don't and even know him. You don't even know him. And? And then you're going to have to share him, your baby with him for the rest of your life. And? And was that something you want to do? I'm failing to see what your point is, Law. Point is, you didn't intend to have it, did you? You didn't intend to get pregnant, did so? you? Okay, so it was a mistake. How's the baby going to feel knowing it's a mistake? How are you going to feel having the... If it's rods, how are you going to feel about having the baby... You don't tell that them, is, you fucking monster. What? Don't call me a fucking monster, Jamie. The fuck is wrong with you? You are a monster, goodbye. Whatever. Hi. If you're pregnant... Yes, I will be the baby stepdad, and I will. I'll love it because it's part of you. I was just hoping I'm pregnant. Are you all right? Honey, you got Will's phone, right?
I know you got Will's. You gonna use Will's phone to talk to me? Was not back yet, is he? Honey, is Will back already? Honey, is that Will knocking on the door? Why aren't you using Will's phone to answer me? Honey, if that's Will, then let him in. What? If that's Will, then let him in. Hey, I got the test. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna take it. Let it, let him know to keep it to himself for right now, please. All right. Well, yeah, I'll help if you want. Rip him down. Let's go. Hello. You said it tells me that you're pregnant, huh? You learn it's Will. Hey, Will. How's it going, bud? Oh, I had better days. Have you any worse ones? Oh, I had worse, too. Oh, okay. Well, uh, sure. congratulations. Well, it's not congratulations to me. Why? Well, you kind of have to keep it between. I was trying to call. I don't know who it was. Someone kind of have to keep this. Kind of have to keep this between me, you, and Jamie right now. Why? She doesn't know whose it is. What? She doesn't know whose it is. Is it yours? No. Oh. I thought maybe you like sent some stuff in the mail to get it going. You know what I'm saying, brother? No. Oh, okay. No, nope, we didn't. This should be a happy time, know. shouldn't it? Why is everyone all depressed and crying? She doesn't know if it's Rods or John Michaels. Well, she's, I thought she was on birth control. What happened? Well, she said she forgot to take one. Oh, and that's why she's blaming you? Yeah. Jamie, that's rude. Lauren, I know what it sounded like earlier. I just want to let you know. Rip them down. I was just telling her to turn her uh, switch off. Nintendo. Oh. oh. No, Jamie, you did not. Stop. She's being a character over here, Lauren. Yeah, she, she tries to get me going. She does that purposely. What do you mean? She tries to get me going purposely. She can get me upset. What do you mean? 
she can, she says things and she can get me upset. Like what? Like like the rip them down things and then you said it I wasn't said what it sounded like. I know you said it wasn't sound what it sounded like and and she's and whatever she's saying there. Oh, she's, she's trying to tell me that I could be the dad. No. It doesn't make sense to me, so I don't get it. I need to just tell her to shut up. You know? Yeah. Hello? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. So what are you guys going to do? I do not know. Is this going to be a problem with your stuff? I do not know. You don't know? I'm not even thinking about it right now. What would what would they possibly say about it? I don't know. I'm not even thinking about it right now. Are you not allowed to have children? No, I'm allowed to have children. Oh. They, they can't do anything about me having children. What about if it's not you were like a stepchild? Even that, it's still just things have to be followed, and Follow. they have to, pay, have to go to. I don't know. I, I'm not even thinking about it right now. Oh, what are you thinking about? Just, just numb. Numb? Why? You should be happy. I'm not happy because it's not mine. Well, still. What does she let you name the baby? It's not even something I want to talk about right now. It's upsetting. I don't understand why it's upsetting. This is upsetting. I mean, you know, it's it's a happy little accident, you know? Guys can do this kid right <laughs> and raise him or whatever, right? No, oh, I just sent her a text the other day and told her we were gonna make a baby and have a family together. Oh, well there you go. All worked out. No, we didn't make the baby. Well, one of you did. No. No, one of us. Yeah. This could still be yours. As in you and hers. Right? Um, a lot of the father didn't want, want to keep it. Father wants to keep it. He, he just left ties forever. Is that a bad thing? Um, no, well, it wouldn't be a bad thing for the baby, but, you know, it's only that his father cared, and, but, you know, there's, there's just so many different questions, and it's just... Like what? I, I just don't even want to talk about it right now. I'm just numb. And... Well, there's so many questions. I'll, why don't we just sit down, the three of us, and talk about this? What's going on? What's mm -hmm. going on in your mind? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we just found out about it, and it's just... It's just... Yeah, but you just said that it brings up a lot Stop of questions, me. so clearly you have some. Yeah, but I, right now I'm just numb because I was really hoping it was going to read no negative. Mm. Hmm. If Maggie Jo finds out, she's not going to be happy because it could be John Michaels.
Right. That wouldn't be good, I guess, you know? No. Which one would be the worst case scenario for you? It's I mean, both is the worst case scenario for me. Okay, but which one's which one's less of a blow to to you, Lauren? Um, I don't think you can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. All right, my headset went out. That's okay. I don't think either one of them are less of a blow. If you had a preference on who it was, I guess is what I'm saying. You said I don't really have a preference. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I, do. I don't. I don't know this Rod guy. I, I didn't like the whole thing from the, from the start. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's just not even a question I can answer right now. Do you want to express to Jamie maybe what's on your mind right now? Jamie, are you listening? Just Stop numb. crying into a pillow and listen to more. I'm just numb right now. I'm speechless. Oh, okay. So you, got, you don't have anything to say then? Not really. What um, what do you think the next step should be? When... I'm going to figure out how far along she is. Is this going to ruin whatever you two have? Or... I hope not. What do you hope not? I hope not. How would it ruin it? It won't ruin us. It just huh? makes it. It won't ruin us. It just makes things a little difficult. How so? Are you just holding back because I'm here, Lauren? No, I'm just, I'm just seriously, I'm just numb. I really, I don't know what to think, what to say. How to feel? Well, no one's asking to feel anyway. Just asking you how you feel, you know. It's definitely important to know how you feel in this moment, you know. Yeah, I know. Jamie needs to understand, you know, how you feel and and what this is. Doing to you, you know, stuff like that. It's it's important that you get that out there, right? Um, in one way, it's in one way. I kind of hope it would be John Michaels because I know it would be loved a lot, and wouldn't, wouldn't be any freaky shit happening to it. What? And because I don't, if you, if it in one way, I, I, heard, I, I heard you. I'm sorry, but what do you mean freaky shit? Freaky shit, like this fucking rod guy, thirty, 
five years old or 30 some odd years old and, and was still a virgin. You know, I don't know anything about him. Don't know what he's like. Uh, but why would you I'm think, forward, like, what freak shit John, would happen? If it was John, uh, I'd uh, God, God knows. I because I don't know Rod from fucking hole in the wall. You don't know him from Adam. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, John Michael, at least, we, at least we know that Maggie Joe is loving and, and caring, and you know that the baby, would, the baby would be just fine if if it was. Just between me and Jamie and John Michael and and Maggie Jill. Oh, so like a kind of like a dual parentship. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like you that. know, Maggie Jill's a wonderful woman, and uh, definitely a lot of love there. I don't understand the Rod thing that you were saying, but um, that's you know. Just don't know him from anything. Right. Well, you know what I always say, Lauren. If you're gonna play the jukebox, don't play a eleven. You know. I know I like Meg, Joe, but I can tell she'd be a good mother. Right, I think she loves kids too. Lauren, are you pulling my chain right now? No. Okay. No, oh, why would I? I don't know, I'm this just making really, sure. No, uh, this is really not a time to pull chain. I agree, that's why I asked. Have you, uh, so you don't know much about this Rod guy, I guess? Nope. I mean, Jamie, no disrespect to you, but I think that that guy's alligator mouth couldn't keep up with his hummingbird ass. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, not really. Oh, I'm just saying I don't know the guy. <clears throat> Did you ever see him? No. So Jamie went there alone. You know? I guess. She told me you got uncomfortable the last time I watched a show, so she didn't want me to be there, you know? No. I had told her before that she knows she knows John Michael and Maggie Joe, so there was no need for you to be there. Mm. I was very, very clear that somebody that she doesn't know, I want Will there, and I even told her that I wanted you there. Oh, so I guess because, she misheard you. She thought that I, you wanted me there for everything, um, so I would watch all of their shows, and then well, not all of them, man. Until that one, you got mad about, and she told me I wasn't allowed at any shows. She heard she what she wanted to hear. I was, I was very clear on what I said. Jimmy says that. She heard you. She just got lost with something or something. I don't know. No, she, she told me I was straight. No. Huh? She didn't know. No. She told me out straight. No. Will's not going to be there. It's just going to be her and her and Rod. Oh, all right. We'll see you new. And well, so she didn't. She didn't give a shit what I said on that. Right. Well, you know, Jamie. You know, does her own thing. Yeah. But she's fine, you know. She's gone a couple of days and she's fine. Hello. I'm here. Oh, okay. 
You got quiet. So okay. when did Rod happen? Pardon? When did it happen with Rod? Oh, fuck. I, Lauren, I don't even remember, to be honest with you. A while ago. It was a while ago? Yeah. You know, she knows how, um, yeah, I don't know how to say this without being insulting, I don't, I don't think I should say it. She knows how you are, you know, and, um, knew that you would react a certain way so she just decided to do it because she needed money you know i know but you I know, remember she told me sorry go ahead i remember she told i remember when she told me to send the contract and it was final mm -hmm. they planned for a while they kind of had it all figured out in their heads so you know, the only thing it wasn't figured out was her getting pregnant. Right. Well, people forget things when they're under a lot of stress, you know. Like, so she forgot to take a pill one day and it screws it all up. Yeah. It happens, you know. All that matters is re is read here and read now, you know. Hello. Oh, I'm here. Oh, sorry. I can't tell. Every sometimes when you don't talk, there's just nothing. I don't know if you're there. Yeah, got TV on. Turn TV up so you can hear it. You'll know I'm here. Oh, I don't need to hear your TV, man. That's okay. <coughs> oh shit. You know, we've got to figure out a timeline of when her last period was and when it happened with Rod and when it happened with John Michael. Well, I would assume because she's saying right. she's late that it should have been around now, you know? That'd probably be the first when it should be, you know? So you're saying we should figure out when she had when she had sex last? Ex. I don't know who exactly exactly who it was, but <coughs> oh fuck! Hello, no, I'm here. Can you oh, hear okay. me? Yeah, yeah, you cut out. Sorry. <coughs> When did she start her shows with John Michael? It's been a couple of months now. Yeah, hold on. <clears throat> All right, so don't want to get too graphic here, Lauren, but it was only anal for a long time. It was supposed to be only anal the whole time. <clears throat> oh, I, I didn't know that, but... Uh... I guess it wasn't, but you know, that's what they do. The, the shows people want to see stuff. So <clears throat> so when did it turn not anal? Let me ask her. <clears throat> yeah.
Oh god. Alright. Uh she's saying based on time Lauren. Uh it would be like somewhere between a two, maybe three day gap between Rod and John Michael Jr. So it could be either of them. Oh fuck. Is Maggie Joel there? Um, I think she's out right now. Why? Do you want me to go look for her? Well, I can... As much as I want to try to avoid telling her, I, I think it's probably a good idea to tell her now versus later. Then she's going to ask, well, why didn't you tell me from the beginning? Yeah, um, you're probably right. Make sure Jamie's all right. Yeah. That's probably going to upset her. Yeah. Uh, Lauren. I don't want to, I don't want to sound rude. And please tell me if this is okay with you. Would you mind if maybe we hung up and Jamie and I maybe went and talked to MJ? Maggie Joe, sorry. You don't think I should be on the phone? <clears throat> okay. I mean, I just didn't know if he wanted to hear it or not, you know? Oh, my God. That's probably going to be a good idea. Oh, how come? Um, that way, if Maggie Joe has any questions for me or wants my input on something as much as we don't. So you know. What questions would she so, have for you? I don't know. Questions that I probably couldn't even think of. I'm just numb and trying to. I'm just numb and trying to. And what? Trying to cover everything. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'd, I'd rather be on on the phone more when you tell her. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if she would want you to be listening. No offense, Lauren. It's the you know, I don't have a problem with it, but yeah, I know you two are like. You know, fond of each other. I know, but I'm not gonna say anything unless she has something to. Uh, I I don't know, but I think it's just better if I'm on the phone. Yeah. All right. Well, how about this, Lynn? Let me let let me just give me a few minutes with Jamie to calm her down, and then see if MJ's home. Maggie Joe's home. All right. All right. We'll call you back. All right. All right. All right. Bye. Later that same evening. You're not answering, so I'm not calling again tonight. I'm calling again. Answer for me. Fuck it. All you're doing is ignore my call, so I may as well stop. Hello. Hey, Lauren. It's Will. Hey. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing. You okay, bud? Well, yeah, I'm all right. All right. Well, Jamie and I got kicked out. We're at a motel. Maggie Joe kicked you out. Yeah. 
What did you say? I mean, there's a lot of yelling. Jesus. What'd you say to her? Uh, Lauren, I, I won't lie, I stepped away. I wasn't a party to any of it, so. <clears throat> That's between oh, those two, you know, okay. but there was yelling. Well, I knew, I knew there would be. Yeah. I knew Maggie Joe wouldn't be happy about it, but. Yep. The best thing to do is to tell her right off the bat, because to tell her down the road would be even worse. Right. Well, I just oh, wanted I to give you that update. Um, I'm going to go get some Panda Express right now. And get some what? Panda Express. What's that? Oh, is that coffee or something? Yeah, it's coffee. I'm going to go get some coffee, and then I'll be back. But uh, I'll leave my phone for... All right. <clears throat> I'll leave my phone for Jamie. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Hello. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? No. Oh. I knew that was going to be hard. Things just keep getting worse. Oh. Um. <laughs> Honey, I tried to get you up here. You're so dead set on staying down there. What, what can does I do? that have to do with anything? If you were up here, none of that would have happened. But we can't talk about that now because that doesn't matter. It's what happened has happened. It's, so it's, it's irrelevant. Oh, I'd still have a failing business and debt. So how would being up there fix that? Um, you know, here at least you've got a place to live that you don't have to pay rent. A place that you don't that have to worry about answer. getting kicked out of. A place that you don't have to worry about getting kicked out of. That isn't an answer. Well, we have the... You'd have to work. And I'm telling you, Jamie, I don't want you doing that work anymore. Well, one of us would. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get the business going. Right. Right. I am. I have been trying to get the business going. I've had some obstacles to go around myself that I don't, don't have any choice. I have to go around them. Like what? Like my truck. Got to get that inspected. There's, there's some things that I just can't do yet. But as soon as I can get the insurance, I can Why advertise like a son of a bitch. Yet. Huh? Right, it isn't inspected yet. No, Tuesday.
Tuesday at 8.30 in the morning. So you said last second. week it would be happening. Then it didn't. Yeah, it didn't because he called and rescheduled it because they had a truck in there that they didn't think it was going to take very long to fix, but it wound up it was going to. So he had to reschedule me. I'm hoping the same crap doesn't happen this week. <clears throat> well, lots of rescheduling last week. Yeah, well, shit happens. I'm just hoping it doesn't happen this week. Jamie, there's other other work to do. So have you done proper paperwork for your business? I get in, wait until I get insurance. As soon as I get insurance, do all the proper paperwork and advertise like a son of a bitch. When's that happening? ASAP. If you come up and if you and will come up here, it's going to... It's gonna have to happen a lot sooner and so why haven't you got it yet I'm, I'm trying because uh, first of all i gotta get the truck back on the road because i don't have anything to put anything on the side of the truck for advertising on the side of the truck until so that truck is fixed and on the road which is fixed it's just not inspected yet I'll have to sell whatever I can. What does that have to do insurance. with insurance? I'll sell whatever I can, whatever I have to, to get insurance, to get the business going. But I'm telling you, you need you need to stop your business because no. that doesn't work. Yeah, it does. You do. No. You do, Jamie. No. Yeah, you do. No. Not going to happen, Lord. Um, not everything is, is as easy as what you want it to be. It is watch. No, it isn't. I'm still doing my job. Boom easy as they. That. Huh? What? I'm still doing my job. Boom easy as that. It's not easy as that. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Why not? Because you, 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 all you're doing is you're thinking that it's going to be easy, and it's not. Why not? Because nothing is, is as easy as you, as you ever think. Why not? I thought it'd be I thought it'd be easy just getting my business going again, and it's not. I have obstacles that I have to go around, and things that I have to do in order to get it going again. I'm making money. Are you? I'm I'm on my way to it. It's not as easy as that. Jamie, you've got one thing for you that that you're really lucky of is that you have a place that you can go where you don't have to pay rent. Boom job available. Huh? Me and Elton are going to go apply for a job together. I haven't paid rent in months long. Yeah, but you were supposed to pay rent there. Here you don't have to pay rent. There's no rent.
charge Roy rent. Okay, but I didn't have to hear. So your argument is invalid. Uh, well, if you didn't have to there, then why why is everybody saying things that you're behind on rent? Why did Maggie Joe say before that you're behind on rent? So that doesn't make sense. Because I wanted to, I'm not a mooch like some people. <clears throat> I know you, you must be trying to slam me. Not a good time to slam me. And I'm not mooching. I own my own place. Right. I'm not mooching. Right. Right, Jamie. Unemployment. Jamie, not the best time in the world to start your bullshit. How much has your mother been paid back? I just told you, not the best time in the world to start your bullshit. Right, but you under mooch. Jamie, what the fuck is your problem? You don't understand that you just told me that you're pregnant by another fucking guy and you want to start your bullshit? It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm getting off the fucking phone because all you want to do is be an asshole to me. Good night. Adios. Hello. Hello. Hi. Are you crying? No, I'm pretty sad though. Why? Because Jamie. It was supposed to be you and me having a baby together, not you and another guy. I wish you would be supportive. I'm really stressed. <clears throat> well, you don't think that this stresses me out? It was supposed to be me and you having a baby together, not you and another guy. Who is the baby inside you? Jamie, it's not my baby inside of you. Does Could that mean anything to you? Jimmy, does it mean anything to you that it's not my baby inside of you? No. It doesn't mean anything. Seriously? What is it supposed to mean? Well, to you, apparently nothing. That isn't an answer. Well, that's the answer you're getting. Maggie Joe said to you. What? What did Maggie Joe say to you? Doesn't matter. Whatever. Why is that important to you? Whatever, Jamie, you know, tell me if you don't want it. Doesn't matter. Okay, thanks for explaining. Really helpful. Well.
It doesn't matter anyway, I guess. Look at the bright side. At least the baby will probably be tall. Wow, well, congratulations. Maybe as tall as Will. Congratulations. Oh, you aren't going to hell. Not going to help what? Okay, I'll just do it on my own. Maybe Will can help. Help what, Jamie? I'll get you pregnant. You already let somebody else do that. What? Says, uh, what are you saying? Help get you pregnant? You already let somebody else do that. Are you daft? Am I what? I'm talking about raising the baby U87. <clears throat> you don't know who the father is yet, Jamie. What if they fight you for custody? Why would I ask Will to get me pregnant? What? You just said that, dummy. I didn't say this. No, I didn't say Will. Yes, you did. I said you already had to let somebody else get you pregnant. How can I help get you pregnant? You already let somebody else help get you pregnant. Why is it all about you? It must be about us. I knew you were going to say something like that. It's supposed to be about us. Me and you having a baby together. Half me and half you. Not half you and half somebody who the hell knows. Right, you are making it about you. You have sat here and complained about you and what you feel and what you want. Yeah. Isn't that what you said you wanted before? Yeah, it is. So that's about you, right? It was about us, Jamie. Why do you think Maggie Joe's so pissed? Complaining and sulking that you don't get your way. Your way is about us. Why do you think Maggie Joe is so pissed? Doesn't matter it happened. Uh, it happened and you're treating it like it's like it's no big deal. It happened, what am I supposed to do? That's what you were supposed to do before. It happened, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, the problem is you want to keep doing that same job. That's a huge problem. No answer that question. What are you supposed to do? I don't know yet, Jamie. I don't fucking know. I just, I just found out the woman I'm in love with is pregnant by another fucking guy. 
Don't pile a bunch of questions on me. Then stop telling me how what I'm doing is wrong. You're treating it like it is no big deal. What am I supposed to be doing? Don't know yet, Jamie. Don't know. Apparently, you still want to be stay down there in Nashville. Right, but not what I'm doing. Don't know, but not this. Apparently, you still want to stay down there in Nashville. Right. right? Am I right? Yeah, I have specialists to see. Yeah, of course. What do you mean, of course? I mean, of course. Hey, Lord, let me ask you this. God forbid you come up here where you, you and I can actually be together. There are no, there are no specialists up here out of there. You quit smoking. You have a job. Are you established? Are you pregnant? Not used to be. You didn't used to be, Jamie. That's, a, that's the answer, answer you're getting. It's the answer you're getting. What you're treating as not a big deal? Okay, it's a big then enjoy deal. your night. I'm not going to be grilled by a selfish Harry Cave troll. No, whatever. Whatever. You're, you're treating it like it's nothing, Jamie. It's something. It's And it's a big something. How am I supposed to treat it? Are you... You act like you don't care if it's a baby by somebody else. It doesn't matter how it affects me. If you can't answer that, how... how am I supposed to act that way? Jamie, you can't... You don't understand why Maggie Jo is so pissed? You don't understand why I'm so upset? Seriously? When did I say that? That's the way you're acting. The words that you're saying, no, the words that you're saying are saying it all. No, it isn't. It is. If that's the case, the words you say show me you don't believe I'm real. Jamie, don't start going back to the past. Right, don't use your own logic on you. Jamie, I'm not going back to the past. I'm something this is... like a mature adult. I'm not going back to the past. Are you? When something, when something so much bigger is on the table here, you're not listening to me. It's something that's nothing new. Right, you tell me what I'm doing, but when I do it, you have an excuse as to why it doesn't count. It doesn't count, Jamie. I'm handling this like a mature adult. Well, uh, it, it, it's a hell of a fucking shock to me, Jamie. Are you? And it's it's very upsetting to me. Are you? You can't handle that. 
You can't understand that? It's all about law. Jamie, it, there's more than just you involved here. You want everybody to make it all about you. It's not all about just you. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. When did I say that? You're acting like it, Jamie. Like it doesn't matter how I feel. Like it should not matter how I feel. Never said that. Well, then why are you even trying to say it? It's all about you. That's exactly what I'm saying. You say that, so I'll stop feeling... Uh, like I should, should feel a certain way. Like I need to stop feeling this way that I'm feeling right now because of uh, your handling is so great. Oh, like you are doing that's great. That, that's, your, that's great you're handling it great that you're pregnant by some other guy. Oh, like you are doing to me. I'm not handling it great. Because oh, I had like plans for being me. me. I had plans for being me and you. And I thought you had the same plans. So Maggie Joe had plans for it. Maggie Joe had plans for it to be her and John Michael. So you get to tell not me Jamie, what I do and think. Not, not Jamie, her, and John Michael. What am I supposed to do about how you feel? I can't do anything about that. Well, you don't have to act like an ass to me. I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're the one acting like an ass. Yeah, I know. Because I shouldn't be upset right now. I should be handling it so great. Not what I said. I should, I should be on fucking cloud nine. Not what I said. Not only are you pregnant, you still don't want to come up here with me. Not what I because said. Because these specialists up here aren't good enough. No. Yeah. So you want a woman with damaged lungs to move into your smoke den? That doesn't sound selfish. Jamie, I'm not even going to get into it right now. Right, because you look like an asshole. No, I don't look like an asshole, Jamie. If I it's wanted to continue to you. fucking smoke, I could go outside. Your trailer smells of cigarettes. Well, it wouldn't. If I weren't smoking that in here, it would not. If I weren't smoking in here, Jamie, it wouldn't smell a cigarette. That doesn't go away in a day. Well, it does too. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Cleaning is all, cleaning is all it takes.
I remember in June when you said you'd quit before I get up there. Now it's all smoke outside. You are so full of shit. Oh, fuck. You still want to do your job? Why can't I fucking smoke? Why do you lie constantly? <clears throat> Why do you want to fuck somebody constantly? It's my job. No, you turn it into more than just a job, Jamie. You turn it into a job that you can't get away from. It's like you're telling me that I'm not enough. Oh, it's more than a job. Can't wait for Will to come back then. Be a smart ass, Jamie. Like, there's not enough on the table right now. You really want to do more? I forget it's all me, right? Are you threatening me? I'm telling you, Jamie. Threaten me that you'll fuck Will again. And it's not going to be a good outcome. I didn't. Yeah, you did. You just said, oh, can't wait till Will comes back. You said it was more than a job dummy. Well, it has been. It's, that's what it's become, Jamie. You can't even get away from the fucking thing. Tell you, you need to stop it. And you say, I'm no, I don't want stupid. to. You say, no, I don't want to. I'm proving your statement was, is stupid. That was your words. You don't want to stop it. It's my job. I like it. Yeah, you like it. It doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter how I feel. It's enough for you. It's all what Jamie wants. Oh, making me quit because you don't like it. That sounds selfish. Jamie! If we're going to be married, what the fuck do I want you to do that fucking job I for? I that job before you. Before me. Key words there, before me. Then you knew what you were getting into, stupid. Yeah, well... Things change. Yeah, well. Things change and they've obviously changed drastically now. I did the job before you. I'll do it during you and after you. Jimmy, don't push it. Look who's talking. Now's not the time. Now's not the time to push things, Look Jamie. Who's talking. You you still don't comprehend that you're pregnant by another guy. Pushing me quitting and move up there, but I'm the one pushing. God forbid I push okay, you to come up here to be with me. God forbid I push you to come up here to be with me. My health is more important than you as you spark another death stick. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. Yeah, well. yeah, there's no specialists up here, huh? Right back to this. No, yeah, well, it's, it's been your excuse the whole time. What's your excuse? I don't need an excuse, Jamie. I'm, I'm 
There's nothing wrong with my lungs. I didn't have COVID. <laughs> I put set rules into place and you haven't done one of them yet. What's your excuse? Jamie. You're supposed to be here last July. COVID happened and you weren't. I understood that. I tried understanding Nashville and I've been so patient, it's unbelievable. It's not okay for me to have excuses. Lawn can have as many as he wants. Yeah, right. You should want to be up here with me. You don't show any sign of it. He promised me he would do them. Now they don't matter because he's a fucking liar and just says shit. You should want to be up here with me. Why? I shouldn't have to say anything. I shouldn't. I, didn't, I never should have had to say anything. So you can abuse me in person. Yeah, okay. You mean like like your mental abuse? Yet when you accuse me of being a cheater and a fake constantly, that mental abuse. Do you want to tell me what Maggie Joe said to you? You don't want to, that's fine. How about when you called me a fake less than a week ago? Or when you said you were going to shove my dildo up your ass? Listen, ex-sus Jamie, far listen, and Jamie. Toss her out like garbage. Jamie. How about when you called Enough. me a fake less than a week ago? Or when you said you were going to shove my dildo up your ex as far as you could and then toss her out like garbage. All right, back to the past again. You want to tell me what Maggie Joe said to you? Right to your repeated pattern of behavior that hasn't changed. Holy but motherfucking somehow magically shit. will win him there. What exactly makes you yeah. think you deserve that? Oh. Jamie, do not give me any fucking shit right now. You're pregnant by another fucking guy. Not I by will. me. By another fucking guy. I will. Why do you why do you not grasp that concept? Who says I haven't? Well you don't act very upset about it, Jamie. Right instead, I'm lectured and berated by the person who, quote, loves me. 
smart. I didn't berate you, Jamie. I told you the facts. Right. Right. Sure you didn't. The facts that you think it is what it is. Right. Wouldn't have happened if you were here, Jamie. What's that? You gonna tell me it would have? That it would have that you would have been pregnant by another guy? Seriously? Mm -mm. I wouldn't be pregnant, period. Why, because you don't want to be pregnant by me? All about you. Apparently not, Jamie. Apparently it's all about you. MJ said she will ruin my career. Got your answer. Did that do anything for you? Did that help in any way? I was actually wondering so I could help you. Didn't think so. I could so. be there for you. Yeah, again, you're not fucking listening. You're only hearing what Jamie wants to hear. No, you won't shut the fuck up. I didn't say anything. You wanted more ammo to say the way I'm acting isn't right. No, Jimmy, I didn't. Sure. Just gonna be there for you on it because I know how you feel Whatever about you it. Whatever you say, Lab. Well, whatever. You've been there for me. When? Jesus Haven't Christ, yet. Jimmy. Haven't yet? No. Who's in who? So, so I wasn't there the 30 fucking days that you were in the hospital with COVID? That's the past. And that's the past. Well, that doesn't count. Can't use it right. That doesn't it's count, does past. it? That's the past. No. That doesn't count because it's the past. So that I can remember that. So I can remember that. Every time you say something that I didn't pass, I'm going to say it doesn't count. Right. That was the past. Watch this. Kind of hard for me to watch it when I'm not there to see it. You are human garbage. You are so selfish and I fucking hate you so much. I wish you'd fuck off upstairs permanently. What? It's in the past. Don't bring it up. Jamie, you better stop saying stupid fucking shit like that to me. It's in the past. Don't bring it up. And what you did isn't funny. See how stupid that is? What? It's in the past. Don't bring it up. Stop being a smart ass, Jamie. You're picking the worst times to be a smart ass.
stop changing the rules to fit your narratives. You mean like you? No, like you. You do it all the time, Jamie. Don't go to the past, Jamie, and mention what I did, but look at this time in the past when I did something I want to mention. <laughs> Say, do you get more before sweetheart? You know what? I don't need any more stress, and that's all you do is create it. I'm going to go cry myself to sleep. I'm not having a great time, but I'm trying to keep it together. Haven't asked me what's going on with me, but it's about but us. Jamie, it's been all about you. You have you haven't given me the chance to do anything. You've been on my ass. No. Yeah, you have. Since we've been on the phone, you've been on my ass. You had plenty of time to ask. Jamie, uh, I'm, I'm, still in, I'm still in shock about this whole thing. Excuses. Excuses? How can I... Uh, Duck off upstairs. Whatever. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the Lawn World Order.